Alright, what's up guys? You know, as you know, I went to the junkyard, I picked up a head and uh, to build because the one I got, you know, really isn't that great. You know, over 400,000 miles and uh, one of the studs ended up stripping out and I ended up having to re-tap it and put a bigger bolt in. It was just kind of a pain and you really can't get the real even tightness with a bigger, larger bolt. And, you know, it's just time and I got some exhaust studs stripped out on the original and these all these studs are good here so you know i'm gonna start the cleaning process and get ready to you know port and polish this thing port match for the b16 intake manifold i got a from when i did the conversion i uh, saved the gasket so i know where to how much to port on the intake side and all that and, you know how much to widen it out we adjust for the ejector flow on that style but uh these are just going to be probably a bunch of little videos put together in my spare time because you know, it's probably going to take quite a while to get everything prepped, but I'll try to get everything as I do it. Uh, I'll be back. All right, yeah, I'm just getting everything uh, separated, cleaned up a little bit, all my, my valves. I like to label all my stuff. I didn't have a, I couldn't find a Sharpie, so I just used my hole punch for one through four on the cylinders but you know we getting there we're getting it cleaned up and getting the last of these valves removed and you know if you don't know you just put your socket on there and strike it with a socket real quick and pops loose like that like so but we in the middle of just kind of cleaning this thing because it is pretty disgusting so you know after, after i seen how nasty it was i was like i gotta just go ahead and pull everything out get everything prepped but you know to be continued on this gum Quite a project. Alright, I'm back. We're in the process of removing the studs, making it easier for us to port this stuff out, get it prepared. But uh, if you don't know how to do that, you double nut your uh, thread one nut on, then the other nut on, and you end up, you tighten it down, then you put your other one on the back side. That's how you remove those studs if you didn't know. So uh, I'm going to get those studs all pulled out and try to get this thing pressure washed or scrubbed or degreased so to be continued all right we're getting there one step at a time i got all the studs removed i got the valves uh seals uh removed and In intake side ain't too bad it's ru the rubber they just you know pull pull right out the fucking oh the exhaust side it's metal ones and they are sometimes a bitch man to get out of there but now i gotta start trying to clean this thing up to be continued well, there's step one of the degreasing process. Still got quite a bit to do. It's it was pretty caked on there, but it's it's getting there. You can actually see the PJO and four, three, two, and one. But yeah, got quite a bit of work left to do. So you know, it's gonna be quite a progress, and slowly but surely. All right, I'm back for somewhat. I pretty much started on this side. I cleaned this all the old gasket up, cleaned out all the carbon in the combustion chambers. Oh, well, not deep down inside there. And I just used these wire wheels. And I know I'm going to get a lot of shit. People going, oh, you can't do that. You're going to warp the head, blah, 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 whatever. It's my shit. I'll do what I want. I've done and did this so many times. So I kept that piece of shit over there running for the past 12 years. Trust me. I've done this multiple times, but I haven't went to the extent of polishing out the exhaust side. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the entire side rough. It's going to stay rough. It's just going to get port matched to the B16 intake manifold, polish out the exhaust side, polish these, polish these up real good in here, clean, you know, clean it up real good. But uh, that's where we at. We're going to finish wire wheel and the rest of it because the grease was so thick. We're just going to try to do the best we can on it and continue on.